And new at six, domestic violence incidents handled by MPD are on the decline in Memphis. But what's still troubling, more teens are now committing the crime and a large number of people are losing their lives. Tonight, WRE. Think about that. Think about that. Now son teens are fucking leading the way in domestic violence. And they don't even That's live crazy. with the <laughs> Think about it. That's Us wild. adults, right? We live with these bitches. Right? We 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 live with these motherfuckers are living with their parents and shit, and now they're leading in domestic violence against That's wow. That's wow. That shit is unbelievable. Some teams are taking over everything crime, like every crime they're leading. Like this is crazy. <laughs> it's like the gremlins and shit. Just throw water on these motherfuckers and throw right. drugs on these motherfuckers, drugs or something. These motherfuckers is getting crazy and crazier. Shit. And new at six, domestic violence incidents handled by MPD are on the decline in Memphis. But what's still troubling, more teens are now committing the crime and a large number of people are losing their lives. Tonight, WREG's Alex Coleman takes a closer look at what city leaders hope to do about the problem. At a time when most Memphians are beleaguered by crime that they see or hear about almost every day, another crime that often hits closer to home goes unseen and unheard, domestic violence. Mentioned domestic violence increasing, and so I want to make certain that we unpack that today. What does that actually mean to um, the crime stats? The problem of domestic violence and its impact on crime was front and center at the City Council Committee meeting, where MPD top brass were questioned about the role of their domestic violence unit. The unit is responsible for investigating and assisting in the prosecution of simple assaults, aggravated assaults, harassment, stalking, and order of protection violations. One of the things that we've seen uh, with domestic violence this year, 6% uh, of our calls that we get for service uh, have been for domestic violence related incidents. That's uh, 42,000, a little bit over 42,000 calls we received this year. MPD says God, there were actually fewer domestic. That's 6% of their calls. That's crazy. our calls that we get for service uh six percent of our calls that we get six percent of their calls is forty two thousand. that's crazy service, bro uh have been for domestic violence related incidents and who you think is calling it in, in, in memphis a city that's 65 percent black who you think is calling neighbors sisters <laughs> So the sisters are calling out of these 42,000 calls, it's probably 40,000 of them are sisters, at least. Can't say. Calling for that shit. And that's not counting all the other shit they call for out of the other 94% of the calls. Wow. And those whores got out there and did all that marching and be fun police shit. God, I hate them, man, sometimes, man. Sometimes I hate you, sisters. Sometimes I do, man. Press one. <laughs> the order of protection violations. One of the things that we've seen uh, with domestic violence this year, 6% uh, of our calls that we get for service uh, have been for domestic violence-related incidents. That's uh, 42,000, a little bit over 42,000 calls we received this year. MPD says the good news is there were actually fewer domestic violence calls this year. Last year, they peaked at almost 45,000. But another disturbing trend is the number of people killed because of domestic violence. We have had 11% uh, of our homicides are connected to domestic violence. That's right now, wow. We're at 44 of our homicides or, or were related to some type of domestic violence event. You muted. You muted. Oh, you muted. Somebody said they average 700,000 700, calls a year in Memphis. Think about that. Just in the city of Memphis, sun turds are calling the police 
let's just say, let's give them 600,000 of the calls. They're only 65% of the population. Let's give them 600,000. Let's say out there's 7,000 calls, 600,000 are by centers, right? And this ain't like the police hearing gunshots and going to the scene or riding down the block and seeing some niggas. This is calls for service, okay? But this is separate from them just doing their police work. This is people calling them. 600,000 calls in this one city to the police in one year. That's crazy. And how many some men ended up dead in Memphis? What, two or three? Two or three ended up dead from police, from killing police? I mean, from police killing them? Come on, all, they, cops kill dudes and black dudes every day. What are you talking about? These motherfuckers are wearing this police department out. Salute the run, Daz, man. He says, Ah has earned your cash. Chip in, y'all. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Chip in, man. Connected to domestic violence. Right now, we're sitting at 44 of our homicides or, or were related to some type of domestic violence event. Domestic violence is also on the rise involving juveniles. Of the 4,568 4, arrests that we've made, 376 of those arrests were actually juvenile arrests. And, and that's, uh, that's, that's... And when you count for the fact that none of these juveniles actually live with women, that makes that's, it That crazy. makes it worse. I know that makes it worse. It's like you know, it's not like it's like, it's like if they was living together or they was in school. It's like somewhere they're always together. The fact that they're not this is like oh, this is crazy. This is wow. <laughs> and this is so this is crazy. Memphis, y'all gotta do better. Where's brown sugar at, man? <laughs> I'll be <Shit>. <laughs> I don't think she claimed this shit no more, man. <laughs> Salute to Miss S66 six, six, Ock Nation Hall of Famers. Merry Christmas, Ock Nation. Salute. Merry um, Christmas. Yeah, man. It's, it's, it's just bizarre, man. I, it, like, it's just bizarre, man. Like, yo, man. <laughs> 568 arrests that we've made, 376 of those were, uh, arrests were actually juvenile arrests. And and that's uh that's 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 somewhat uh, uh, alarming. City leaders say <laughs> more resources must be made available for domestic violence survivors and making sure they have a safe place to turn to in Memphis. That has been a bit of a perplexing uh, point for our officers because sometimes they don't want to leave that victim in the same environment where they, you know, suffered the abuse. And we try to find different places for them. But the Family Safety Center is sort of like the hub. Alex Coleman, WREG TV, News Channel 3. MPD also says they work closely with the Family Safety Center, a nonprofit, to assist domestic violence survivors. Now, if you or someone you know needs help, you can reach the Family Safety Center at its 24-hour crisis line. That number, 901-800. Continue to smash that like button, guys. 06064. Well, tonight in West Memphis, a man is dead after a high-speed crash involving a, an Arkansas state trooper near the...